Hey guys, this is Lawrence584. And Tyler Hastings. And this is my first official collaboration. So guys, today we're taking a little break from my usual uh, theme to talk about something a little more serious today. Um, many of you um, probably haven't heard of the term, or very vaguely know about the term uh, MS, or multiple sclerosis. I know for me personally, the only thing I knew about MS was that it was a pro that there was a program relating to it um, called Reading for MS. Do you remember that mm -hmm. when you were in grade school? Yeah, I'm not sure if it's if they have it in other countries, but in in Canada, basically kids are encouraged to read and get sponsors, and basically, however many books you read, you get endorsed a certain amount of money. But it was never really clarif clarified to me specifically what MS was, or you know how it how it affects people, which is interesting because my great aunt, or not my great aunt, sorry, my aunt uh, Nancy one of my mother's closest friends um, was actually misdiagnosed. She has MS and it has actually really badly affected her life. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, this guy here mm -hmm. actually happens to have MS yes. and um, it's, you know, learning from him has been, you know, really eye-opening and, you know, how he's been able to handle it and whatnot. So, I am going to do something that I rarely do. I'm going to abrupt the floor and uh, let him tell you a little bit about his story. So multiple sclerosis, in, for those of you who aren't aware, is a degenerative breakdown of the protective lining of the neuron. It's the neurons, right? Yeah, the nervous system. The nervous system, um, the connective tissue in both the brain and the spinal cord. Mm -hmm. Um, the source, what causes it, is currently unknown, um, although some people theorize that there's a biological agent, like a bacteria or a virus, that causes it. Some people say it's um, genetic. Mm -hmm. There is science that is genetic predisposition, but they, they have no real idea what causes it, per se. Also, um, while there are treatments to stop the progression of multiple sclerosis, to keep it from degenerating to a certain extent. There is, to date, no known cure for multiple sclerosis. Mm -hmm. um, once you have it, you have it. Yep. <clears throat> Doesn't go away. Yeah. So how I got MS, well, in early 2012, I was working for Fossil Watches and Micro Cores down at downtown, and um, I noticed uh, the, the right side of my body was going numb, starting with my fingers and thumbs and whatnot. And then uh, it started working its way up to my arm, and then eventually to my feet and my leg. And then the last spot was my torso area, getting really numb and felt heavy to walk. And uh, I was walking around like this for a good week and a half, didn't know what was going on until I told my mother and then we went to the doctors and did some tests and um, it uh, was um, multiple sclerosis and uh, to do more tests to make sure that it was um, in early 2013 of March I got a spinal tap done and where they took a, like a five inch or about an eight inch um, needle and stick it in your spine to drain out the spinal fluid. And um, did some tests on that and found out it was MS. And I also did an MRI scan and they found lesions on my brainstem. And then another M another MRI scan, we eventually found lesions on my spine. And, um, yeah, it was quite uh, <clears throat> scary and very upsetting. And um, that 
what I had in December, late of December, was called an episode. So my diagnosed of MS is called relapse and remission. So I was relapsing at the time, which we call it an episode. And episodes like that for relapse and remission can last anywhere to a week to a couple of weeks. And um, yeah, it was quite uh, scary. So now, um, after all the tests and everything, after what? three and a half months, four months of testing, uh, they stuck me on insulin, like a needle. I took every every day. And that was to, to control my MS and to control the bouts, meaning the episodes and attacks. Um, I took that for a couple months. Um, I didn't care for it, poking myself every day in my thigh, my stomach, my arm, um, it was very unpleasant, and, uh, and then I heard about <clears throat> a medication, a Baggio, it's a little blue pill, and, um, so I said, well, I'd rather take a pill than stick myself with needles every day. So I take a little blue pill every day, and it's mailed to me, and it has, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the days of the week, which to take. And, um, yeah, it's, um, it reminds me every day that I have MS when I take that pill, or when I see the package. And, um, I still haven't came 100% to terms with what I have. It's a reminder every day, and it's a struggle every day. Um, but I'm healthy. I'm okay. Um, I went to the doctor's. Uh, not too long ago, because I had an MRI scan uh, this in August, towards the middle of August, and um, they found two more lesions, new lesions, now on my brain. So now I have them in three places my spine, my brain stem, and my brain. So I have a small one and I have a big one on my brain. And um, I have to go back in early 2015 to get another MRI scan and to keep taking medication to see how it works in the next six months. And of course, most people that have multiple sclerosis eventually will get more lesions on their brain stem or their brain or their spine. So this is a disease that never goes away. This is what you have. Now mine won't get any higher, so the highest would be progressive, like secondary progressive MS is where eventually if you're at that point um, throughout the years you basically become bedridden where you can't walk and you're in a wheelchair. So the lower part of your body doesn't work, only the upper part. Um, and yeah, it's uh, pretty sad when it gets to that point. So I've experienced that with friends of mine whose parents have that stage of MS. So I'm lucky to not have that stage, but um, in about 20 years or so, I'm 25 now, so my mid 40s, I hope to still be walking and doing what I'm doing. That's if I can take that's if I take care of my body now and not abuse it and look after it and eat well and etc. So well guys that about does it for today. Um I know this uh video was a little more serious than what you're used to. Um but in the next couple of days we're gonna have a couple video or I'm gonna have a couple more videos that would be more You're gonna do a nerd video, aren't you? Yeah I'm gonna do a nerd video. <laughs> I'm gonna do a nerd video. Um, Hus ex Husky Boy kind of inspired me to do a uh, video. Um, there's also a couple other things I got in the works and whatnot. So, and of course, October 23rd, be fun. we're going to Los, Los Angeles. Angeles. Yeah. Um, we're going to uh, Michael and Luigi's wedding, and mm. we're gonna have an amazing time. So it'll be exciting. Oh, it's really oh, yeah. exciting. So yeah. Um, until next time, YouTube.
Bye. Bye bye. Take care. So, I'm here, you're there. I'm here, yes. Are you really here, though? I'm really here. Are you sure? Yeah. Like, if this is just a dream, <laughs> this is so going in the bloopers. <laughs> if this is a dream, and, like, you're part of, like, a bit of beef. <laughs> what? <laughs> a bit of beef. <laughs> okay. This is why I love you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's all he has to say. That's all I ever have to say. Okay. Now. Okay, so. And one, two, three. So exciting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, goodness. This is gonna be fucking, fucking hilarious. Mm. Okay. So, guys. What? Mm-mm. 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 It's okay, we can edit this. That's why they have editing. Yes. So, multiple sclerosis in, for those. Doesn't go away. Yeah. Mm hmm So. <laughs> That's not funny. No, I'm laughing at the fact that you're like, yep. I'm like, yep. And then you're like, yep. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> it's not. It's time to say goodbye. <laughs> say goodbye. <laughs> time to say goodbye. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. One, two. Well, guys. Bye. 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 Take care. <laughs> <coughs> okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs>